today we are going to draw um, a memory. So I want us to draw ourselves on the first day of school and remember our first day of school. So I have some things to help you out here. You do not have to use these if you don't want to use these. They are just for your help. So these are called stencils. They are things that you can trace to help you draw if you're having some troubles. Okay, so I have a girl stencil and I have a boy stencil. Okay, so you get whichever one you need. And you want to pick where on your paper do you want to put your person. And this person is going to be you, okay? You're going to turn it into you. So you need yourself and you need a stencil for the school. So here's my school. So i got to make sure they both can fit on my paper, okay? So you don't want to put your person here because then the school is going to be cut off on the other side. So I think I'll put my person here. And I hold down my stencil and I'm going to draw carefully on the outside of the stencil and I keep moving my fingers to hold it down. I'm drawing on the big white paper. I'm not drawing on the stencil itself. So I'm just leaning my pencil right up to it, going around. And if you guys notice, this hand keeps moving all the way around because I need to hold that stencil tight. If I don't hold it tight, it'll move on me and then I won't get the pretty shape that I need. Take it off, so there is my drawing. And now I'm going to do my school. Same exact thing, just trace it. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to make the ground. So the school has to be on the ground and so do I. So the ground is going to be back here. So I'm going to draw, skip, draw, skip, draw, skip, draw, skip, and draw, skip. Okay, so now I have myself and a school. Now, if you don't want to use the stencils, you can make you can free draw your person. So that would be a girl. And this would be a boy. Notice these are just basic shape people, circle and triangle, circle and rectangle. And then we have lines and circles for the hands and the arms and legs. Um, I know this isn't how real people look, but we are just beginning. And you can free draw your own school. You don't have to use the stencil if you don't want to, okay? So you can just draw your own Becky David, however you want to draw Becky David, okay? You don't have to use what I give you. Okay, but if you do use what I give you, now you have to go in and you have to um, create some details in here. Alright, so the first thing that I'd have to do is I'd have to turn this into actual clothing. So I'm going to connect here, I'm going to connect here, and I'm going to connect here. And then i got to make this into a dress. Here's a boy. If I'm doing a boy, I have to connect here to make a shirt. You can do short sleeves or long sleeves here on the arms. You want to draw a line right down the center, and then you can do shorts or pants here, just like that. Okay, and then next you need to create a face of some type. So you need eyes, nose, and a mouth. Girls, just do simple eyes. Do a letter U nose and a smiley face mouth. And don't forget eyebrows. And girls, same thing, just circle eyes. Okay. 
then you need to draw hair. So if you're a girl, notice how I start the hair way here on the sides. You can draw your hair in a ponytail, you can draw it down. I think I'm going to put mine in a ponytail. However you wore your hair in the first day of school. Here's a girl with her hair down. Notice it goes behind her shoulders. Boys, you would start here and kind of just come across above your eyebrows. And then that can be your hair, like that. All right. Okay, so now is the time you want to think about details. What else can I include in here? I need to work on my school. I need to turn this into Becky David. I need to add doors. I can even write the word Becky David. In the background, what can you include? Can you include trees? Did you see trees on your first day of school? Did you ride the bus on the first day of school? Do you remember a sidewalk going up to school? Do you remember flowers? What else do we remember? Okay, were you wearing a backpack? All these things we want to think about when creating our artwork. Were there clouds in the sky? Okay, so here's my artwork of me on the first day of school. And what you want to do after this is you want to outline everything that you drew with a black permanent marker or a sharpie. It's the same thing. Sometimes I say sharpie, sometimes I say black permanent marker. You want to outline every single Thing that you drew. So this takes time, but art takes time. Good art takes time, so it's okay. And you don't really have to do any thinking when you outline. All you do is trace over what you've already done. You've already done all the thinking. Okay, now that you've outlined everything with Sharpie, you want to take one of your big erasers and you can go and erase any of those little pencil marks that you can still see. We don't want to see the pencil. Okay, so some of the Sharpie didn't cover all my pencil. I kind of might have not gotten in the right spots. So now I just go and erase. And that way nobody knows that I even used the pencil. They all think I just used Sharpie. Okay, and then from here we get to color it all in. So now everything is outlined with Sharpie. I'm going to take some crayons, and this is in the bottom of your cubby. These are our brown, black, and white crayons, and these are good for skin color. We don't really have skin color, temper cakes, paint, so we are going to just use crayons. So you want to pick out whatever color your skin is. So maybe hold the crayon up to your skin, what color matches you the most. And just color your skin because we're going to paint the rest of this image. So my skin would be here on my face. And really try to have control with your crayons. No scribble. Fill in the white spaces. I'm going around my eye. I don't want to color in my eye.
All right, and while I'm here, I'm just going to color in my eyebrows because I don't really want to paint my eyebrows. They're too small. So there we go. Okay, and the rest will be done with paints. All right, so now that I have colored in with crayon my skin, I'm ready to begin painting. So I'm going to use temper cakes here. These are temper paint, but they come to us in a cake form. So like in a nice little circle like this. This way they're nice and clean. They're not too messy. But in order to use them, I need water. So, how this works, I have two brushes. I have a big brush and I have a small brush. The big brush is for the large areas that I need to paint in, so like the grass or the sidewalk, okay? The small brush is for the tiny areas I need to paint in, so like the straps on my um, backpack or like the frame around the door. Those are for the little brush, okay? So, in my head, I, ha I already have an idea of what I need these colors to be because I've already planned it out. So I've thought and I've planned it. And now I'm gathering my materials and I'm creating it. Okay, so I'm going to begin with over here. I'm going to begin with Becky David. So what I do is I put my paintbrush in the water and then I just gather the paint like this on my paintbrush. And now my paintbrush is full of paint, and I can paint right on top of that Sharpie. The Sharpie's not going to do anything. It's going to stay right there because it's permanent. Okay, what I want you guys to notice is how slow I go to try to stay in my shape. When you need more paint, get more on your brush. You might need to get more water on your brush. What I want you guys to notice is how I'm painting in the same direction. I'm not going crazy with my paintbrush. Okay, I drag it, pick it up, and then I drag it again, I pick it up. I never, ever, ever push my brush away from me because that will give your brush a bad hair day. And it pulls the hair and your brush says, oh no. So treat your brush nice. Okay, so there's Becky David. Now I'm going to rinse my brush. And I'm going to paint the grass. So it looks like this green is running out, but there's still actually a lot of green paint here on the side, so I just swirl my brush here on the side. And I like to kind of outline my shape before I go. It gives me a little um, barrier to keep myself inside the lines. And while I still have green on my brush, I'm just going to move right on up and I'm going to paint my tree. That way I don't have to uh, go back to the green later on. I can do it right when the green's just still on my brush. So I'm planning as I go what order I want to color things in brush and now I pick up a new color and it's going to be yellow because I'm going to paint the bus. And I need to paint my sun. Okay, now the little um, bursts around my sun are too big for my big brush, so now I'm going to switch to my little brush. And you do the same thing. And this way I can stay in these shapes a lot better because my brush is smaller. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to do the sky and what I want you guys to notice is I'm going to use my little brush first. And I know the sky is a big shape. But there's a lot of little areas that I have to get to, like right here under the arm. I need a small brush for that. I need a small brush here. All these little shapes. I need that tiny brush because my big brush isn't going to be able to fit. So I do all my little tiny shapes first and then go back in with my big brush. 
right here in between the clouds. And remember, the sky goes from the top of your paper to wherever your grass meets. It's not just a blue stripe across the sky. So I need to paint all of this blue. Okay, so now that I've outlined everything, now I'm ready to go back to my big brush. And I want you to know that this takes time, doing all these small shapes. It does take time, but it's so worth it in the end because now you're more controlled and your picture is going to look much more prettier. Now this part goes pretty fast because I took the time to outline before and get all those tiny shapes. So good art takes time. Okay, so I'm all finished and the paint is still wet. Um, that means it has to go on the drain rack to dry, but it's drawing my f experience on my first day of school. <laughs>